There are many different operations that we could perform on our data frame. I've chosen to talk about removing rows and columns mostly because it's a very simple kind of operation to perform and it'll also give us an opportunity to talk about some of the features of the data frame. So let's look and see how we can remove these columns. Let's start by examining the end of the data frame. And as I noted earlier, there is this total row in the data frame and that is going to cause problems. So for example, if we wanted to make a bar graph showing the size of these different um, CO2 usages by state, the total bar would be like huge and it would overshadow all the other ones. It's really not, in this case, a very appropriate thing to include with the rest of the data. I can drop the um, total by using the uh, drop uh, method. All I have to do is provide the uh, string, which is the name of the column that, oh, sorry, of the row that I want to drop. So if I go ahead and run this, I can see that the total row, which is at the bottom here, has now been removed. Keep in mind, though, that I did not do this operation in place, nor did I assign it to um, a different uh, variable name. So this is really a temporary uh, action that does not have any uh, permanent result. If I would like to drop several rows of the table instead of just one, then instead of passing in a single string, I can pass in a list of strings and that will delete, uh, that will remove a number of rows all at once. So here we see that Virginia, West Virginia, and Wyoming are now all missing. And because I didn't make the change, the removal of total permanent, it's back in there again. So if I want to permanently remove the total line from my data frame, then I need to go ahead and add the in place argument. So if I do that, now I can see that total is gone and uh, it'll be gone for the rest of the time that I work with that particular data frame. If I want to uh, remove a column, I can also use the drop method, but in order to distinguish that the label of the thing that I want to drop is a column and not a row, I have to use this um, axis argument here. And so the axis is actually a way of referring to the two dimensions of the data frame. So the row axis or axis zero is um, the, the list of all the different rows. And then axis one or the column axis is uh, the, the uh, identifier or the uh, indexes for all of the um, columns of the table. So axis one rep or the column axis represents each of the columns in the table. And we can provide names for these axes. So for example, here I've, uh, the column axis has been named sector because that's what the columns are. And the row axis has been labeled as state. And you can see that these labels are sort of offset from the axes so that we can tell they're different from the regular column or row axes. When we are referring to an axis, we can refer to it either by number or by its label. So if we return back to the code here, we can see that I'm referring to the axis um, by its name, which is, uh, the, it is the columns. And so uh, if I go ahead and run this, I will, you can see that I'm not only doing the uh, drop um, method, but then I'm also having it display the first five rows immediately afterwards. So here we can see I have now dropped the total column. But again, I didn't do this in place. So this is not going to be a permanent removal of that column.